Lady Diana. She was the princess who had the whole world enamored, intrigued, and sometimes a bit confused. Like that day the paparazzi took pictures of her wearing two watches, and the only thing the public could think of was, why? It went like this. 1981. Prince Charles and 20-year-old Diana are engaged. The soon-to-be bride often went to various events with her future groom. One of those was a polo tournament at Windsor that Charles was taking part in. Diana was on the sidelines rooting enthusiastically for her fiancé. That's when cameras caught an interesting detail. Lady Spencer had two watches on one wrist, a dainty one with a thin gold strap, and a bigger watch with a leather strap. The assumptions soon followed. One? Diana decided to introduce a new trend. Hey, wouldn't be the only time. Two? Maybe she needed to keep up with events in a different time zone. What? Three? The future princess just got something wrong. Why? All the theories turned out to be false. And the real reason was quite sweet. She put on Charles' watch along with her own to support her other half and wish him good luck in the tournament. Actually, Charles and Diana first met at a similar competitive circumstance. Only, he'd been invited to the Spencer family's home for a hunt. The two families had always been close. Diana's grandmother had been a lady-in-waiting to the Queen Mother, Charles' grandmother through Elizabeth II. As Diana famously put it, the two sort of met in a plowed field. And here she was, four years later, standing near a polo field supporting her now fiancé. What's even cooler, the double watch gesture has roots in medieval tradition. Back then, so many centuries ago, ladies tied their handkerchief to a knight's helmet or spear to wish him luck before a duel. The handkerchief reminded the knight of what he was fighting for in the tournament, to win for his beloved. The handkerchief was considered a symbol of love. Lady Di loved traditions, but she was also a fan of doing things her own way, especially when it involved items that she held close to her heart. Another example was on the couple's wedding day. Young Lady Spencer had to wear something borrowed according to the popular tradition. However, Diana refused to wear the lover's knot tiara offered by the queen. Instead, she chose her family tiara from the Earls of Spencer. It might have broken royal family protocol, but it was important for Diana to follow her own family's traditions too. This tiara had been worn by Spencer family women before her for generations. Lady Di returned to this decoration more than once. She wore it at official events, often favoring it over the royal tiara. The Spencer tiara hasn't been worn by anyone since. You'd think a princess would have a whole collection of tiaras. But Diana only ever wore these two in her life. Both go way back, the Spencer tiara being commissioned in 1919 and the royal families in 1913 by Queen Mary. But Diana did get creative with her jewelry, like when she wore her Saudi sapphire choker as a tiara. She liked to bend the rules and start new trends in other ways too. For example, women in the royal family are required to wear tights. Diana did it her own way. She wore different colored ones to match her outfits, which was a bit shocking for the monarchs. She also refused to wear gloves, even though she was supposed to as a royal lady now. Diana's reason? She wanted to shake hands with people and feel their touch. She was the people's princess, after all. The Queen of Hearts could wear the same thing constantly for years. Another item she cherished closely was the necklace Charles gave her on the day their first son William was born in 1982. The necklace was made of gold and engraved with the name of the future heir to the throne. No less significant for Diana was her engagement ring, which also caused some stir in the royal family. It was a sapphire and diamond ring. Fit for a future princess, sure. The problem? Charles let her pick the ring herself from… a catalog. And she didn't even have it customized, just ordered it as is. Apparently, this was the commoner's way. But Diana loved her ring, and that's what matters. Years later, each of her sons was given something of hers to remember her by. Prince Harry got her engagement ring, William her gold Cartier watch. But Harry gave the ring to his brother when William decided to propose to his future wife, Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. 
the Duchess still wears the ring to this day. But let's go back to that happy day in 1981, when young Diana had no idea what lay ahead in her future. When two watches on one wrist were a lucky charm for her, and her future husband was her whole world. The young noble wanted her marriage to Charles to be successful, and on her wedding day a few months later, she hoped to inspire a little more luck by sewing a golden horseshoe into her dress. The marriage might not have lasted, but the wedding remains the most watched in history. It was dubbed the wedding of the century, and 750 million people tuned in to see it. And that's gotta account for something. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life.